this past week, we've been learning about Sankaku, right? And Sankaku, as a technique, uh, it's a little bit difficult for shorter players to do because their legs are not so long, right? It's more ideal for taller players with, with long legs. But there are certain types of Sankaku that you can do with, uh, you know, even though you have short legs. And one of the Sankaku that I'm going to uh, show you is, uh, is, we call this the Briggs Sankaku, named after Karen Briggs from Great Britain. And this is a, a Sankaku that anybody can do, even those who are shorter, right? Because in a way, it's not a true Sankaku, it's actually a, a way to get into a hold down. Right? She doesn't, Karen Briggs doesn't usually do a strangle or arm lock from the Sankaku, she does a hold down and she goes straight into the hold down. She doesn't even really go for the choke. Okay, whereas most Sankaku are, are in the form of a choke or you know, a, a choke and an arm lock or a hold down, various, various uh, combinations. But for Karen Briggs, the, the brick Sankaku is really just an excuse to get into a hold down, okay? So, uh, can you go turtle, turtle here? Uh, let's do it this way, okay. So down, turtle. So, Uke is in a turtle position. And you know Yoko Sankaku, you start off facing Uke like this, right? This, this is how you do it, Yoko Sankaku. For the brick Sankaku, you start off from behind. Just like you're gonna do uh, maybe Juji Katami or Amlog, you start off from behind. You sit on Uke, and with your right hand, you secure Uke's right forearm. Okay, you go underneath, and you secure the forearm. Can you move your head a bit? So you watch, you see what my hand is doing? I'm holding her forearm. Can you come up? I'm actually holding her forearm, like this. Okay, so I'm coming up from behind. I hold the forearm, and then I come around. I come around, okay? So when I'm here, uh, I'm not sure if they can see. Let's move a little bit, turn, turn, yeah. So you can see what I'm doing. I'm actually, this is what I've done. Okay, so I was here, I was here. I control the forearm, I come around. I'm here, and then I got two on one like this. Right? She's holding her arms in because she's afraid if she straightens her arm, I'll arm lock it. So she's holding her arm in, I hold here, right? And I come in here like a Sankaku, like I'm gonna do a Sankaku. I roll her over, but I go straight into a hold up. Okay, so there's no real Sankaku even, right? So we'll do it again, are you okay? Yeah. Okay, Control the wrist. Come around. Okay, and then I do a two on one. Go here. I do like a sankaku, I go straight into hold. Can? Can you understand? Okay, Mene, you know how to do this one, right? You demonstrate. Okay, one more time. You see? Hold the wrist, hold the wrist. Don't, don't hold the, the, the gi. Okay, one more time this way. Okay, you guys understand? Now, important point is, and then you stand here. When you, when you, you, when you control the arm, right, actually hold the arm. I right? just now, when he was holding the wrist, this is not so strong. This is not so strong, holding the, 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 the gi. Hold, hold the wrist. Hold the wrist, come around. Okay?